Guys, when you get a question like this in the exam, I want you to look at the examiner in the eye when you're in the test and just smile and wink and be like, thanks, easy marks. <laughs> okay, don't do that, it's a bit weird. But anyway, so when you do get a question like this, trust me, this is seven marks in the bag. These are so easy. What you do is the following. They tell us that the eighth term of an arithmetic sequence is 31. Okay, so we go get the arithmetic formula for a, uh, the arithmetic term formula. So they tell us that term 8 is 31. So you just say 31 equals 2. Now A we don't know. Uh, the term number is 8. And then the common difference we don't know. Then I'm just going to simplify. So that's just A plus 7D. Great. Now you move on to the next piece of information. They tell you that the sum, now they're saying sum, so look out for that, of the first 30 terms is 1,830. So we go get the sum formula and you just fill it in. So 1,830 is the answer. Uh, 30 terms, you say 30, and then uh, A is, we don't know, 30 is the term number for this one, and then the common difference, we don't know. Then we just want to simplify this as neat, as much as we can, so 30 divided by 2 is 15, uh, 2A, and then 30 minus 1 is 29. Fantastic, and then what we can do, uh, there's multiple ways you can do this, I'm going to multiply the 15 in, so that becomes 30A plus 435D. There we go. Now, all that happens is we have two equations, two unknowns, solve simultaneously. Easy, right? So I'm going to take this one, and there are other ways. You can do it differently. I'm going to take this A and get it by itself. So that's going to be 31 minus 7D. And I'm going to now plug that into the place of this A. As I said, some students do simultaneous equations differently. So you do whatever you're comfortable with. And so that's going to be 30, and then A would be 31 minus 7D plus 435D. And now we just go ahead and multiply out 930 minus 210D plus 435D. And then it's easy, right? So I'm just going to put the Ds together. So minus 210 plus 435 is 225D. And then 1,830 minus 930 is 900. And then divide by 225, and you're going to end up with 4. D is 4. Then we can easily get A by just plugging in this over here. And so A would be 31 minus 7 times 4. And so A would be 3. Easy as that. Now, they want the first three terms. So we know that term 1 would be... Um, a, which is equal to 3. Term 2 would be A plus D. You can do this in other ways if you want. You could plug it into the term formula. Um, and that's going to be 3 plus 4, which is 7. And then term 3 would be A plus 2D, which is equal to um, 3 plus 2, sorry, 2 times 4, which is going to give us 11. And so these are the first three terms of that sequence.